with all this stuff going on, my hustle just blazing hard, all these fish. I just not I haven't had time to get my hair cut. Like every day is a bad day. But at least I can put it in a ponytail. Ah, much better. That's a lot better. You don't know how much money I save on haircuts. It's been a long time and shaves. I'm always wearing this plain white tee too. It's almost like my uniform. I think I should switch that up too. Just for a while. Uh, there we go. That works. My boys aquarium co-op. Corey shout out. Shashimi shout out. What's up? Hope you guys enjoy. Alright you guys. Let's get ready for vlog number three. Let's do it. Drone shot. Brett's neighborhood right here. I'm 503 feet out. Just keep in mind, I'm the low guy on the totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that lake front. Here's the rest of the reservoir. Let's look, let's look down a little bit. Look how big that thing is. That's massive. So that's the beginning right there? Yeah, that's the dam. Okay. Over there. That is so awesome. Pretty sure I can go further. And it goes a ways. You know, Holy crap, I'm pretty far. I've never really gotten this far before. Um, I'm way out of line of sight. I can see it up over here. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh man. Drones flying and groceries being delivered. <laughs> oh, and a plane up there too. <laughs> and a dad. Never a dull moment. That's awesome, man. Where's your kid at? He'll probably like that. Oh, yeah, he would love that. Where's he at? Let's get him out. Look, buddy. Check it out. Hello. Here, I'll take this. You play with Dad. Look. See it up there? You see that? What? Is that cool? What do you think? Hi. Mom. I'm here. Like I'm gonna grab it. Got the groceries, but she's got to move around my shipping cart. Thanks, babe. Laying in the drum. Nice. One hand. Mm. Yeah, I, I barely let it land on the floor. It's 
全部吧。Look like I'm gonna have to move this tank here because my shipments are starting to take over everything. So what I'm thinking is I'll move this over and then have a skinny tank from like here to here. That way it'll give me a ton more space. And have a tall skinny tank over here. But yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have to move it because that's just not enough space. So I'm to the edge. Also, I want to thank all my customers who made their orders. Even some of you left me a few bucks in my tip jar, which was awesome of you. This fish room wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you, thank you all for your orders. There's been a lot of packaging. A lot of bagging, nose down to the grindstone. But without you guys ordering like you guys do, couldn't do it without you. So I appreciate it big time, more than I could put in words. Gotta keep them warm. So I picked up a few new tanks here. Got 420 longs. That's all they had at the store. But many of you guys know the Petco sale. I actually got these at Pet Supply Plus. And what's awesome is anytime Petco does their sale, which they also have a sale as well, but when they don't have the sale, they'll match Petco's sale. And the beautiful part about Pet Supply Plus is they don't tax, uh, tax you on the full retail value, so you actually save more money than you would at Petco, which is awesome because Petco will tax you for the regular amount and then discount you. They discount it and then tax you. So, 85 bucks for 420 longs, that's a pretty good deal. I got a good collection of blue Galaris killifish eggs this time. I noticed they kept spawning in the substrate in the rocks instead of the spawning moths like they're supposed to. So I stuck them in this tank with just spawning moths and now they don't have any other choice. And yeah, got all kinds of eggs out of them this time. wondering what the difference between a blue pearl and a blue velvet is here is the difference side by side I don't have great lighting but these are the blue velvets you can tell they're a little brighter blue than these guys are see how they're not as full bodied they can kind of get some white in them there's a slight differences to them if you can see the blue pearl they kind of got a little stripey thing going on like a wishbone looking back kind of like they have some ribs which sometimes will turn red it's really neat these blue velvets they won't do that you see they're just slightly brighter blue 